Hello friends, and welcome to another Wednesday. I'm shooting this at night this time because I was very busy during the day as as you'll see at the end of this video. But uh, our thing this week is top something number of books that we enjoyed reading. And well, I, I usually don't read that many books, sorry if you're going to kick me out of the nerd club or whatever, but when I do, they aren't the normal books that everyone else reads. Like, what I love is little known fact books or things, or like corrections of general agreeances. Like, one that I've read and enjoyed reading was The Book of General Ignorance by uh, John Lloyd and John Mitchinson. Pretty much what the entire book entails is, is general misunderstandings about all the things that we know and love. Like, here, I'll open a page and read for you. The person who coined the term survival of the fittest was actually Herbert Spencer, whom was a sociologist in the, I believe, in, in the late 1800s. Not, not Darwin. Herbert actually said it, and then Darwin said, hey, that's a good idea. I should take that. So now I'm going to use that. Or... Or what did Atlas car carry on his shoulders? Um, it wasn't actually the earth, it was the heavens. He carried the heavens on his shoulders. Um, I'll just read this. Atlas was condemned to support the sky by Zeus after the Titans revolted against the Olympians. Now, and then th there's a giant like page about it, but I'll just read Usually the first sentence gives away the reason, and then it goes on to explain it. Now, there are a lot of books like this, like one of them is um, When Did Wild Poodles Roam the Earth? Which is another really funny one that I, I really enjoyed reading. Um, and there are many more, but I actually don't remember the name of them. Oh, here's one right here. This Another one is 101 Things You Need to Know, and some you don't. A good e example from this book is, Does one dog year equal seven human years? When really it's this very long convoluted equation... But but the the simple answer is is no no it does not, um, and what is the difference between a fruit and vegetable? Well, a fruit is the ripe ovaries of a seed bearing plant, and um, to put it simply, veggies are are not. If you want to actually learn a lot of stuff, get this book, and I believe there was a sequel or prequel to this book. I actually don't remember. I haven't bought a book in a long long time. Um, another book, I should really say author that I like reading, is an author by the name of Michael Crichton. Now, his deal is, well, you might know him, but you you might know him only by, because you've seen the movie, but he actually wrote the book Jurassic Park, which obviously is based off of the movie. And the my favorite book that I've read from him is called The Terminal Man, and I'm currently reading a book called Timeline. Pretty much The Terminal Man is about this guy who has a fear of computers and is forced to get a computer into his brain and so he can live. And Timeline is about these group of scientists that find, like, a s old structure and floor plans from it, and it, I don't remember specifics from it because I can't find the book and I haven't read it in a long time, but pretty much they go through time. Yeah, yeah, uh, have fun with that. But one book that I'm currently trying to read, but keep on losing it and finding it again, and I just found it again, is Dante's Inferno. And this is the... Dante's Immortal... Uh, th th this is uh, a new translation by John Sidiari, but as you can tell, the book's quite old and has a nice old book smell. Um, th those are definitely my favorite books, but, I mean, I I've read... A f I I've read custom-made stories as well. Like, I enjoy reading... And at least reading the comments on the story that I write, but it's, it's garbage if you ask me. Um, that's only because no writer likes their own work. Um, I like Stephen King's books. The most recent one I read was uh, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. And that's the only one I've read, but still. Um, oh, you haven't re read The Stand? Yeah, I don't, I don't read much. I said that. Um, but one of the funniest goddamn things I've ever read is the fan fiction My Immortal, which I'm assuming you've all heard of. Um, it actually has no... There's no possible way I could I could converse to you how badly hilarious this is if you've never read it. So I suggest going onto the Googles and typing in My Immortal. Um, other than that, really boring week... 
challenge, if you ask me, but that's only because I don't read that many books. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys next week. Also, here's the reason why I wasn't, why this video wasn't up so quickly. Alright guys, the reason that I'm, my vlog's being uploaded late is because of this awesome boat for a boat race that my friend constructed. Yeah, it's, it's definitely gonna... It, there'll be a little clip of it floating later. But yeah, the, he has oars and Tyler's right. Look at that mu be beautiful majestic watercraft made from only cardboard. The Cadillac of Water Sea Craft. What? <laughs> yeah, dominate boat. Uh, for my calculations, it's not going to sink more than four and a half inches when I put it in the water, hence why I can have doors. So I just made the, uh, the center part higher than four and a half inches, so the water would come up there, but it wouldn't spill over the edges. Bam! Wasn't that beautiful, majestic, and, and awesome? Yes. Yes, it was, Wade.